Hello subscribers, welcome to a live stream of Wizardry 6 Remastered. We are going to be starting a new play tonight. It's been a while since I played, so I just wanted to create a new party instead of continuing my other party. So, that's where we're at. Hey, and we got Ham, Jimmy, and Bo in the... Oh, and Saztam. Welcome guys, how are y'all doing tonight? Uh-oh, Jimmy's stepping out for a sandwich. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> it's Taco Tuesday for Saz. <clears throat> audio is working fine for Saz, Tam. Uh, Bo says the audio's off. Oh, it was Discord? Okay. It was user error. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, we already got four characters named, so if anybody else shows up and you want to have a character named after you, make sure you start chatting. There's Duncan. Number five, only one slot left. <laughs> okay. Let's see here. I kind of already know what I want to do for a party. First thing I want to make is a mage. So, Han, you're going to be the mage. Uh, okay, what's going on here? It's uh, not working quite right. Hang on. I'm in the wrong folder, that's why. <laughs> here we go. I'm playing, trying to play Wizardry 7. We don't want that, do we? We have to transfer our characters to get to that. Okay, here we go. Um, let's see, what kind of mage do I want to make? What race? Hmm. Let's do an elf. Any bonus points, not bad. <laughs> Bo 2.0, that's right. Time for some tea, huh? All right. Jimmy says, what's not to love about Wizard 7? Well, this party has to earn getting transferred. They have to make it all the way through this expert Iron Man, and then we'll transfer the 7. That's a big if. Big if there. Okay. Elf Mage. That's a good Elf Mage picture. It's not bad. Yeah, let's go with that one. Okay, we get skill bonus. A sling for him. Territory of one. Woohoo. And then all points in the thumb of Turgy. So we can get spells earlier. I'm going to start with armor shield and sleep. Okay, first character now. Next, I believe, was Jimmy, and then Bo. All right, so I want one more regular caster. Hmm. I don't want to go with here. Make an alchemist. Let's see. Let's do a human. 
Whoa, look at that. 26 bonus points. Let's get some speed going here. 10 hit points. Nice. So, an alchemist. That could actually be an alchemist. <laughs> Lost his eye due to some backfiring spell. Potentially use whips. Rep a one and miss level on pulling staff. Swimming. Alchemy. Okay, let's get a heal wounds. Yes, it's Bosch. Okay, two good characters right off the bat. Next is Bo, or yeah, yeah, Bo is number three. Um, let me think for a minute here. Let's do a thief. I know for sure I want a thief. We're gonna do a hobbit. We do that. Take less than that for Iron Man run on expert. Still have one slot open if anybody wants their name. 26 bonus points, nice. Okay, thief, thief, thief. Wow, this is gonna be one heck of a thief. Hit points on the thief. <clears throat> okay, Blue. What are we gonna work on here? Hey, Moody, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Moody got the last slot. Great. So, the thief. I'm undecided where I'm gonna put him yet. He may be thrown for a while. Let's put a point in sword, pulling staff, couple in throwing, couple in bows. He's going to be our picker, uh, which is Skullduggery. Let's get that up as high as possible. Eleven. And we got two points. So I'm probably going to give him. Okay, that was Bo. Hey, Mr. Spock, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? You're on a three stream watch streak. Nice. Okay, so Duncan's number four. Wait a minute. No, Sass is number four. Sass should have been number three, actually. You still here, Saz? 
Dark Savant says, I would just name the character A until I got a good role, then I would name him. Yeah, I've done that before too, you're right. That's a quick way to do it. All right, nice. I don't think Lemonhead fits. Yeah, so we'll just do Saz. Okay, so we have a Mage, Alchemist, Thief. And I'm going to have three tanks. I'm going to do Lord. Let's make Saz the Lord. Let's do Dwarf. 24 bonus points. That's pretty good. be doing some axe, mason foil. Uh, so let's just do this for now. I will work on swimming on everyone eventually. But for a while. Hey there, Hot Toddies. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Is there a definitive def definition of what karma does? Yes. Karma impacts your relationship with NPCs, but it's not based on it just being high. It's when your karma get, is close to matching theirs. So if you're talking with an NPC that's low karma, you want someone with low karma, and vice versa. High karma, high karma. That's pretty much all it does. Glad you're doing good, Mr. Spock. Yeah, unfortunately, Dark Spine showed up a little bit too late. We got all the slots filled. All right, so we will do theology. So let me dump some points in there. 18 karma, okay. So we have two more. Um, I am going to do a fighter. So that's going to be Duncan. kind of fighter do I want to make here? Let's do a dragon. 20 bonus points I'm actually going to redo. I want a little bit more than that. stream old man he says does six use the older system of random skill point pool so you can just keep rolling until you get higher up yes but in my mod i've made it where you get a lot higher points but teddy says how do you tell that though i've never seen it have an identifiable effect yeah you can tell by testing it hot bodies if you spend enough time testing that you can see that that happens and it's mainly only if you're trying to influence an npc um, that you can't art that you don't have a good relationship with. So just if you do enough testing, just pure statistics, you can prove it works. But that's about all it does. Okay, let's see here. Ah, 20 points again. Who says you can kill my slot D Forte for Dark Savant if it lets you um, in all of your game time? Yeah, but you showed up first. I appreciate that sentiment, Bo, but I'm not breaking the rules. That that's to encourage people to get here early. 
but that was very kind of you. I'm sure Dark Savant appreciates that. <laughs> Let's see here. You will rue the day I miss out of being named <laughs> Dark Samatsu. I'll show you what my troopers in 7 and 8 the next time you play. There you go. <laughs> Becomes the villain of the chat, that's right. Actually, he used to not be a villain, right? He used to be Funzang. So you should be a good guy right now, Dark Savant. You should be Funzang. So you're not playing up to your role. <laughs> okay, let's see. Duncan. Dragon. 16. Aw. Oh. Random number generation scan. Hey, Draconic Dude. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Whoa, seven stream watch streak. Nice. Welcome. Oh, says, haha, lesson learned, you slackers. That's right, you gotta show up early. The early bird catches the one. <laughs> just don't like breaking rules because then what's the point of having rules, right? And I know, I know, people say rules were meant to be broken. <laughs> If I get 20 again, I'll just take it. For just for some reason, we got our good rolls up front. Now it's not wanting to give us any more. It's still a lot faster than the vanilla version. Okay, 20. We're taking it. So we're going to do vitality, speed, strength. Okay. 17 hit points. Pretty much only one dragon picture. Really. Okay, Duncan, what are we gonna do? Let's just spread these skills out. You're gonna be well versed. Uh, you will be the scout. Artifacts. I'm gonna have you use some artifacts. Zero karma. Dark Spawn says, my legion of troopers will hound you with spam calls about your car insurance. I think around the time of Wizardry 6, he is fully the Dark Savant. <laughs> okay, so two more, right? No, one more, one more. It's Moody's. So I need one more tank. Tank-ish, I should say. A samurai. Belper. Nine points left. Alright, that looks pretty good. Thirteen hit points. It's okay. some throwing here. Alright, we're going to focus on... Since I already have a mage, we're going to do this, and then we're going to focus on some pure jutsu. Okay, we have our party. So up front, I still got my other old party members mixed in here. Duncan. And then 
says Tan the Lord. Moody the Samurai. And the Thief Bow. And the Alchemist Jimmy. And the Mage Hom. All right. Here we go. The Lizard Man Mage is a great tank, Dark Savant says. <laughs> Only if you dump a bunch of points into Vitality. If you don't, then no, he's not a good tank. Duncan says Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy says he wants to lead the charge. <laughs> okay, Duncan got a journal. We're in the entrance chamber of the castle. All right. I did say it's saved, right? Let me double check it. Yep, okay. All right, let's equip. Plus a seven on the Felper Samurai, so actually, let's see, I have him equipped shield. Or do I want to do a wheel? Hmm. He's the only one I can use it, we'll do a wheel. So his armor class is 10 and 9, it's going on him. Is it actually this is useless because he already has eight armor class, both body parts there. So, give it to the Lord. It'll improve at least his hand armor class probably. The thief will be hiding most of the time. Um, go ahead and throw, starting off. So let's give him the shield. Because he can still be hit from extended range there. Okay, what else we got? Can't use the dagger. We can give this to the Lord to do a wield. Dagger give to the fighter. Okay. We'll have to train our artifacts too. So let's give that to the fighter. Dark Savant says, that moment you forget to equip your gear and you run and <laughs> die immediately. Yeah, true. <laughs> okay, this one says open me first. So if we open this one first, we're going to get Sword of Striking. And we'll end up with more experience. If we open that one first, we're going to get a uh, Staff of Missiles, which has magic missiles in it. Which is awesome, but we don't have enough artifacts to use it effectively right now. But it could be used later on. So, to do what to do. We could still use the stab. I think it's primary hand only, though. No, we'll open this one first. Dark Savant says you have to give the party props, though, for walking into an, ab an abandoned castle <laughs> naked, yeah. Alright, we got some healing potions, cure poison, daniel of the life. Is the staff of missiles limited charges? Yes. It is. Fifty gold, that's all we got. That's the bonus. 
Okay, so who's gonna get this? In the beginning, fighters have a greater chance to hit, so we're gonna give it to the Lord. We're gonna give the broadsword to the Father. Okay, that looks good. And then we're just gonna do some fights. Well, we'll we'll try to open this door here. We may may be able to with the thief. We won't jam. Let me take a look. Let's see if we can force it instead. Piles of rotted furniture lie strewn around the room. Poison darts. Yuck, what a one to start with. <laughs> well, at least we only took one damage. It was on the mage, though. That's rough. Okay, we can start training artifacts with this. These are going to go on the thief. Thief. Book. And darts. We're gonna have to use one of these cure poison potions. He doesn't have enough hit points to rest through that. Other darts. Go to save this. We'll start our artifact training. I know what this is. I'll cast the, uh, that's an amulet of annoyance. It's itching skin. Throwing knives, nice. Can I identify that yet? Okay. These are probably light heels. Poison dark traps are evil, Dark Savan says they are. Okay, let's do some fights. I want to get to level 2 if possible. Oh boy, what a fight to start with. Five rogues right off the bat. Let's throw a bite, Dirk. Acid Splash, Sleep, Spin for Power, that's right. Ah, you had time to be a parent, hot toddies? All right. Well, have a good evening. Got four to fall asleep. They're already back. We're going to breathe. Armor shield. Samurai. Not hidden with these bite turks yet. Heal. Things start really going sideways. I do have a stink bomb I can throw. We have three of them because we have an alchemist. There we go. Ouch. 
couch. And mage. I'm probably going to throw a dart here. Nice. Five damage with a feather dart. Oh. Mage is already almost dead. Like a pool of radiance, skull box games. Miss, 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 miss. Everybody miss. There we go. Moody took him. Man, what a rough first fight. Level one is so dangerous. I'm an expert, right? Yes. Explains why those are so hard to kill. All right. This is more like it. <laughs> Rats, this is what we need. We're going to start working on hiding. Fizzled sleep already. Actually, let's have you parry. There's no oratory for uh, alchemists. So you don't get training when you cast. Five bats. So these just might be hard to hit. Go ahead and try to hide. Backfired sleep. Mage definitely needs practice. Armor shield on Moody. Armor 
Another shield on Duncan. Success. Mr. Spock says, I find it funny in all these games, bats attack, and in real life, they mostly leave people alone. Probably the same with rats. Yeah. That's probably true of most wildlife, I would assume. Most animals. But not want to attack a person unless you get by their offspring or they're starving. That's a good point. Maybe since the castle has limited food sources, they're like, mmm, food. damage was enough to kill it. Wow. Okay, let's take a look here. 317 experience away for the fighter and the thief before they level up. That'll be a good level. Tom says, hmm, food. Are you talking about Jimmy? His sandwiches here? <laughs> Monsters would have a heyday with Jimmy's snacks. This flash keeps doing one damage. Acid scam. Hey, Claus, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Just passing by, all right. Well, thanks for saying hi. finally hid there. Fizzled <laughs> armor shield. See how our training's going. His ninjutsu's up to five. I only had one point in it, so he's gained four on that. The mage. His oratory was only like one or two. It's already up to ten. So he's doing a lot of training there. <laughs> well, says, by the way, these uh, bats appear to be from Urk Biolabs as they apparently cause the horrible spin madness. <laughs> yeah. Ah, vines. We like creeping vines. They give us good training because they're not very dangerous. And they're a lot easier to hit. left. 
seem to be hitting Jimmy. Let's cast armor shield on him. <laughs> he spin right round, right round like a baby. Yeah, that's a good 80s song. Yeah, I remember it. It was kind of a one-hit wonder band, wasn't it? Definitely remember it. We really need Han to get leveled up. His hit points are so low. Okay. I never had that on record. I just remember hearing it on the radio. Mr. Spock says, yeah, more recent group bought the rights and put it in a newer song, too. Oh, wow. That's funny. Yeah, I don't remember the band name. Oh, no, 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 no. These are going to be rogue leaders. This is bad. We're using stink bombs. This is bad. Stink bombs. There we go. Those hit points were low. It makes me think those weren't leaders. 130 experience? Yeah, I don't think those were leaders. It was just a coincidence. Ooh, level two, nice. Speed, strength, intelligence, piety. Eight hit points, nice. Wow, his throwing's getting up there already. 15. Let's get the skullduggery up. 20. Scribe. Does a fighter need nine? He's nine experience away. One tip Schrodinger's cat that's the name of the band. Oh man, I never heard of that. Hey Zachary, welcome. How are you doing? Dead or Alive, I think, did the original song. Oh, okay, they're called Dead or Alive, the original. Okay. You only remember that because the singer was on Big Brother UK. <laughs> nice. That was a good level up on that thief. Do the casters need 159 okay they're close that's the most important level up is the caster so that they gain some hit points the mage will probably get one sleep lullaby One damage again with acid splash. What the? Backfired it. 
He's an alchemist and he backfired. He doesn't even have skullduggery. Or, uh, oratory. But they can still backfire. Rapper Lorita used it in his song Right Round. Personality and 12 hit points on the fighter. Artifacts of four. I should do mapping for him. Let's do mapping. He'll be the mapper. One D four, getting the one. Yeah, exactly. Boss says there is only one cure for spinning madness: the bats to let you spin in the other direction. <laughs> what? You mean vines, really? Wow. What the heck? Game's trying to kill me, guys. So they have some air resistance. Throwing a stink bomb's not a good idea. But these can put us to sleep. I don't like that. Let's do armor shield. And they can hit extended range. Oh, this is so bad. Let's kill him fast. Okay, good. Comes the sleep. for the mage. They missed. Went for the mage again. Dark Spot says, I found a new Wizardry 8 save game editor that has the ability to create new saves, including saves that act like you imported from the endings of uh, Wizardry 7. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Fuck, does anybody remember the magic roundabout? The French stop motion for kids, no? Never heard of it. Seven hit points on the alchemist. Level 2 spell, we got our alchemy up high enough. We are getting blinding flash. Mage, speed, good, good. Two hit points, hey, he got two instead of one. It's pretty old, it's in uh, black and white. Moody says fuming vine, vine scam, yeah. Dude, we got scammed. Okay, we should be able to get a second level spell here on the mage. Magic missiles. Enchanted blade. Weaken. Sound missile shield. We got some great choices here. I think I'm gonna get magic missiles. We'll get our divine spell points going. Then give us a area of effect spell. All right, so then we just have to level up the Samurai and the Lord. And then we're at least level two. So our spell points are higher because we've done Intelligence and Piety. On Alchemist and um, Mages, that's what impacts their spell points. Okay. 
Okay. Not sure if we can blind these. I don't remember. Magic missile power one. killed the ones before the range would reach on the blinding flash so it didn't hit anybody. Here we go, level two lowered. Mighty and speed, six hit points. Not the best, but not awful. So he will not get a spell this level, but he will the following level. I get him earlier in my mod, but you only get him every other level. Balance. Samurai, how much do you need? 41. Oh, it says new spell, Chandelier. <laughs> I'd... Blind magic missiles. It does work. Nice. Two blinded. Fired sleep again. Man. Mage needs some serious practice. That's enough for a level up. Nine hit points, nice. Okay. Keep work on sword. Swimming. Get you to. Okay, everybody's level two. So now I feel a little better wandering about. We can work on training the skullduggery a little bit here. All on desk. Pretty sure there's nothing in there. Yeah, just a message. Which the message is very important to the story. And we have the olive goo. Zachary says, what is a critical role reference? Seven bats. He's asking claws.
assuming Claus is talking about swinging from the the bell and the belfry. You know, like swing from the chandelier that song or whatever. I could be wrong. Let's see. Let's do magic missiles. Oh, surprise punch for seven damage. <laughs> That's one heck of a punch. That's a sucker punch. <laughs> sucker punch. Plus, there's critical role or some guys playing pen and paper D and D. And the chandelier is the ex machina, which saved the party a couple of times, because the DM is quite merciful. Okay, so it's nothing, nothing to do with Wizardry Six. Okay, we were going over here. Ah, 21, it went up by one. Okay, let's go ahead and do this spot here. Keep closed during service hours. Lodged with the throat of a crushed skull, you discover a strange key. Got the key. Okay. Huge bats. They're blinded. Which is pretty funny because bats should be immune. I should probably change that to make them immune. Light based attacks. Not sure why the original game didn't have them immune to light. Okay, bow, you have some daggers. These must be bite daggers. Nice. Chandeliers a running gag, Claus says. Uh, this is the vampire bat tower, I think. Yeah. We're being watched. So we can get poisoned by this. I'm gonna go ahead and use a stink bomb.
It's blinded and asleep. Well, it was. <laughs> Cast power level one. It doesn't last very long. It was still blind because it just did double damage. Nice. Level 3 Thief, Dexterity of 18, 8 hit points. Sweet. Look at this skull degree, 31. Scribe of 5. Piles of old debris crowd this small tower room. Most of it looking quite rutted. This is going on the same way. Another curse. Resisted the acid. Level three fighter. Good, he got speed. Fourteen hit points. Fantastic. By the way, it is indeed possible to get multiple rings from Becky. Uh, no, shouldn't be. Not in this remaster. You can't, because of... You can't fill your inventory. Like, you can always drop things. Bo says Jimmy casts acid splash at the wall after the monster dies. Yeah, he did. He was just, you know, making sure they were dead. <laughs> Jimmy says, I was aiming at Duncan, trying to improve his looks. And Duncan says, may your next sandwich contain wheat mealworms. <sighs> well, he likes liverwurst, right? So that's kind of close to it. <laughs> Okay, so there is a chance this mage could get killed. Nine hit points, maybe. Let's hope it doesn't happen. Okay, this isn't the this is not the tower that does that. This is the good old El Montes. Montes, did you find Snoop Cherry? No. Okay. We've got 1300 gold. Let's see what he's got. Ah, he's got some good scrolls here we can train with. Giving us bless. 
Sleep. Yeah, we got some good scrolls. We're going to be buying some. Oh, we do some good artifact training here, too. Okay. Got some goodies. Flash powder, yep. Sparkle sticks. Yeah. Well, we have to find someone that can use them. Oh, the fighter can't use them. He can use these, but we can't afford it. So we can't train his artifacts with that. Alright, let's get some scrolls. Mind stab. Sleep. Bless. Yeah, we can do armor shield too. That'll be some good training there. Boss says, someone on the web said so, so I adapted Bella's Wizardry 8 script to give experience only on one. Oh, you're talking about in Wizardry 8? Oh, okay. I, I understand what you're saying now. You're saying if someone got multiple rings like in Wizardry 7, well, you can only get in 6. If you got in six, transfer the character to seven with multiple rings, and then transfer that party to eight, you get certain experience. I got you. Yeah, in the vanilla version of Wizardry Six, I think you probably could. You could cheat it. His robes are actually an upgrade to the thief. Okay, I need to remember to start using this anyway. Yeah. Oh, it's an NPC. Small figure darts in front of you. Let's wheel and deal. We got Wheeler. Dang, shouldn't have spent all my money. He's got a good helmet there, a bassinet. He's got some good resistance items too. Some books. Can't afford any of it though. Okay. Yeah, we just spoke with El Monte's Moody. Rats. Nope, cancel. Use amulet. I need the train. Use armor shield. Backfired the amulet. Irritated. Yeah. 
Rudy says, funny, Wheeler showed up at the exact same location when I last played through. Really? Wow, that is funny. He's actually not that common to run across. condition. Old debris again. The bow and arrows and corals. So we could potentially switch Thief. Just throwing around twenty one, one of two. Let's have him keep his daggers for a while until we get more training out of that. So, do you know what your next party is going to be, Moody? If are you giving it another shot? Finally getting a swing with that dagger now. Time to go sleep clothes? All right. Thanks for hanging out for a while. Yeah, my pleasure. But he says, I've noticed your go-to spell is Blinding Flash. Yeah, it's a really good spell. Getting it early. Doesn't work on everything, but what it does work on makes a big difference. In fact, I have some flash powder I bought. I need to distribute this. Powders are great because you can't backfire them in Wizardry 6 and 7. <laughs> Not true in 8. But you also don't get artifact training out of them. And this is the tower I think that's going to collapse. Yeah. Ooh, look at that. The mage almost died. That's what I was afraid of. He had one hit point left.
Okay. Back to full health. Crusty old chest pops out of the hidden wall compartment. Okay. This artifacts, which is still very lousy. Stamps come on you. Painting key. Moody says, I rarely use blinding flash in my playthrough, that's why I have three total party wipes. <laughs> yeah, it's a very good spell. I don't like back seating though, so I, I never really, when I'm watching, I never give advice unless it's asked, someone asks me directly. Because that's annoying when people back seat all the time. Huge bats. Once again, instead of one, <laughs> good. So turn around. Okay. Ah. Yeah, we already did this, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's get out of here. So let me think. Done all those towers. Visiting Queequeg at this point's a little dangerous. Let's get two more. Well, we'll get one more level up on the Lord and the Samurai. Let's get them to level three. Four rogues. Missiles. Thank <laughs> you. 
stumbles blindly. Where's the Lord level up? 10 hit points, that's more like it. Okay, he should get a spell this level. I'd like to have another heal. Samurai level. Okay, now I feel a little more comfortable going after Weequig down there. Barracks full of broken cots turn into rot is all you find here. Wait, you heard a noise. Mysterious dark man appears from out of the shadows. May I interest you in a bargain? Maybe? Let's see what you got. You got stuff that I can't afford. This cure stone would be nice, but <laughs> I definitely don't have enough. I could buy the heat bombs. Fireball power one. Cherry bombs I can't quite afford. Acid bombs would be nice. Let's see. It's got some books too. Crushed widows, caustic bombs. These are more reasonable, weaker acid bombs. It's got scale metal mittens, scale hosen, base lard. That's an offhand sword. Hmm. Wait to sell long sword. Cloth. Really don't have much. You have bow. Which is that worth? Twelve. Yeah, let's sell it. Okay, we're at 1100. So, do I want some armor upgrades? I think I do. Let's get a leather hauberk and a leather helm. Leather hauberk 
we're going to put on the samurai. And first, we'll go to the lord. The tunic will be passed down to the alchemist. Invasion armor class is already close. It, it already beats this. So let's give this to the fighter. It's okay. good. I don't want to go in that room. Let's see if we can pick the lock to get in here. Poison slimes and seven other slimes, which are probably also poison slimes. What do I got? Don't think we can blind these. Oh boy. All right, let's use a Bless Scroll. Magic Missile, the first group. Fizzled the Bless Girl. There's the first poison. It's two groups of poison slimes. Wow. Okay. Try plus again. I think I'm going to do an armor shield. Or try for power three. Fizzled the bless scroll. Okay, at least we got the armor shield. This first group. Here's my first casualty. The Lord. Okay, Moody, you take out that one. 
I think we got Bless. I don't know that for sure. Stink Bomb, I don't think it's going to work. Fizzled. more fizzles. Okay, we're down to one group. Weaken. And two of them. Let's see here, we're out of that. I think we have a healing potion somewhere. that has it. Yeah, there we go. Man, what a rough fight. Lord's gonna miss out on a lot of experience here. 1600. Level 4 fighter. Level 4 thief. Hey Tim, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Wow, you're on a seven stream streak. Nice. Skull buggery, all the way. Scribe. Okay, Lord. Can't bring you back. Lost the vitality. And he's poisoned. I kind of want to see if he, we can get him to rest through the poison. He may be able to because he's a lord. He can regenerate. Let's get out of this dangerous area. Okay, here we go. Yeah, he's good. Record for you, work gets kind of in the way. Yeah. Gotcha. No, I know how that goes. Well, at least you caught part of it, right? You're doing good. Glad to hear that. Okay. 
This got done with a really rough fight. But no party wipe, that's a good thing. You looking for dinner, Sam? Okay. Let's take a look at how far we are. Lord's really far. Samurai's not too bad. Alchemist is really close. Mage is pretty close. Okay, well, let me take a break here. And I'll be back in about five minutes. Okay, everyone, I am back. Let's get this level up here.
Great bean vines. Let's train our artifacts again. Train our scribe. And weaken them. Thank you, Tim and Hum. I'm surprised you're still awake, huh? <clears throat> I know you're off all week, though, right? Yeah, I did reach 600 followers. You're right, huh? I picked up a few from uh, Retro Island Gaming when... I was on him on there watching him play Wizardry 8. He gave a shout out and a few people followed there. You have the week off nice. Bushwhackers. Let's see. Bless. Blind. Magic missiles. hit points. Ooh, level three alchemy spell. Oh, nice. Magic screen. Ah. Got some good choices here. Let's get some more area of effect. We're going to get whipping rocks. And the mage is almost ready for a level up. I'm the mage. More scribe training. Sleep. Wasn't enough. We need 158 more. Ooh, we can't identify these. There we go. Poison darts. Nice. Zachary says, what does the spinning do? It uh every time you move or turn, there's a chance that a random encounter can happen. So I'm just doing this to grind and get some experience. I want to get the mage up to level four. Can't do it in Wizardry 8.
Yeah, there's only four of these, so these are probably fuming vines. Well, they fell asleep. Maybe not. It's just coincidence. Yeah, those were creeping. Creeping vines. More. Okay, these are not creeping vines. Strangler, okay. Wow. points every time he's getting two. Should get a third level spell. Oh man, so many good choices. Let's get fireball. Fire shield though too. Alchemist, next level up, I could get air shield or air pocket. If I got fire shield on this, we'd be protected in two ways. I'd still be missing ice shield. We have magic missiles for an area of effect spell. Okay. Samurai needs 539. We're going to take a gamble here. Let's do a fight down there. Three Strangler. Okay, good. This is good. I don't know if we can blind them. Let's try. Definitely weaken them. I think I'd rather just do damage. Oh, 
See if we can get into this room. Oh, oh, oh. Let's hit this group. Okay, perfect. A bunch of these are blinded. Hit them while you can. Two left. I still don't know what they are. Probably just bushwhackers, maybe. Wow. 
wine bottle be used much later in the game. <clears throat> Upstairs, where it's safer. Okay. These can hit extended range, so let's protect the mage. <laughs> Jimmy says, what level do we need to get asphyxiation? Um, I think the alchemist will probably get that spell around level 10. Nine or ten? Quite ten. You mean they're fuming mad? to do the rest of this spell. Who do you, or Jimmy says, then again, who needs asphyxiation when I can just throw magical rocks at the enemy? <laughs> well, yeah. Different, different, uh, Damage types, that's missile resistance, which hurts most enemies, the whipping rocks, versus asphyxiation being air resistance. Some enemies can resist. Okay, here we go. This could be dangerous. Hey, get off my foot. Okay, that's not bad. So what we're going to do is use a few items here. Throw some flash powder on that one. Throw, ah, step you attack. Well, now go ahead and throw flash powder because the alchemist is slow. By the time he gets around to casting, they would have gone probably. Let's do a mind stab. Rocks. Let's take down the brigands first. Okay, they're screwed. They're blinded. All of them. These are probably rogue leaders. Throw 
rest. Sword, boots, and dagger. Ooh, nice. Level four lord, there we go. Six hit points. Really? Ah, that's what they're swimming. Lord, we can put that in offhand. Buskins. It is an upgrade. Okay, these have to be bike trucks because we can't have any kind of. Hey there, little gremlin. Welcome. How are you doing? A rainbow. Right condition. Moderate stamina. Can't identify the book. Poison. We have everything identified that we can. Okay, perfect. There's some pretty good armor in here. goodness 17 rogues both groups have some that are hiding okay we're gonna go back to using flash powder again flash flash terror Rocks. Let's start taking them down with damage spells. We're only going to be able to blind five within each group. Until we kill the front five. Make this group frightened.
most of this group is blinded. Says spinning, it makes me dizzy. Little gremlin's got a lot of emoticons going on. There. <laughs> this one's hiding. See if we can get him with the mind stab scroll. We can. Got him. He's insane. He's hiding and he's insane. One died. <laughs> he hit too long. Okay. We're going to rest so that he has a greater chance of hitting us. Said so he'll pop out. Try to sleep him. Oh. Okay, there you go. You pop out now? There we go. Oh, he's in dark gun. Level five thief. Look at that skull decorate. Scribes up to twenty six. Nice. Ah, thank you, Moody. Notice that sometimes you get monsters died. I know that happens when they're poisoned sometimes, but other times. Yeah, the game engine actually, if an enemy is hiding and he won't come out, they can potentially die from that. It's to prevent deadlock on uh, monsters hiding, like both sides hiding. So if one is hiding, sometimes he'll end up dying. It can take a long time before that happens, but if he just won't come out, eventually that, that can happen. It doesn't happen to you, but it, it can happen to the monsters. Based on their hit points, you know. Okay. Good armor coming. Rats. Go ahead and do a little bit more training. Terror. Let's blind the second group. Moody says, thanks. I've had that happen a few times when I got soft locked. Yeah. Yeah. Based on their hit points, they can uh, die from hiding too long. It's just to prevent the game from, from battles from not being winnable. <laughs>
keeps getting two throws, two attacks on his throws now. Sword's getting up there. I don't need to put points into it. Start putting some in axe. Artifacts is 17. Nice. Okay, chain hopper. What's going on? Samurai. Leather. This leather is going on the feet. Suede doublet. That's an upgrade for someone, I'm sure. gets it. Bastard sword. Okay. So this can give us above 18 strength. We're going to give this to the samurai right now. 19 strength. One more. 20 strength. That's going to be some good damage. Okay. That's good. Alright guys, I think that's a good place to call it quits tonight. Great progress on that new party. Level 4, level 5. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.